Hello and welcome to this lesson and the Writer's Guide to Freewrite. In this class we'll learn from writing instructor and producer Brian Young about a structured approach to writing that emphasizes the separation of idea generation from editing and uses free writing to enhance thinking, creativity, and fluency. I'll be reading from Brian's essay in the guide, What Exactly is Free Writing? So from Brian, I do a lot of teaching. I teach for Writer's Digest and Script Magazine's online university in continuing education at the University of Utah and at conferences across the country. One of the things I've learned in my teaching is that the best way to get folks better at writing is to start with just getting them writing. Writing can be hard, and we psych ourselves out about how difficult it is. We look for some exterior muse to sprinkle the fairy dust of inspiration before we even start. Other times the mind goes blank as we stare at the page in a blinking cursor. We might even think we have writer's block and just need to relax and do something else, even though writer Brian Vaughn called writer's block just another word for video games. We'll talk about that later. But there are also layers to how clear writing works. We hear a lot about writing as rewriting. First, we need to get a spark of an idea. Then we need to get it down on the page in a way people will understand. We need to get the right grammar and the right punctuation. We need to choose the right words and imagery. And we need to put all those things together in the right order. Basically, what we're doing is creating a textbook of mental telepathy to clearly transmit ideas from our heads to the head of the reader. So it's actually alchemy. So how do we get that tap flowing so that we can get those words out? It's really an age-old question, right? Well, Stephen Mintz, a professor of history at the University of Texas at Austin, says that writing is thinking, and we need to let our minds take us where they want to go and put that down on the page without getting wrapped up in the self-consciousness of knowing that these words might be carved in stone. Stephen King said that we should write with the door closed so that no one can see, and edit with the door open. Ernest Hemingway abbreviated that advice even further to suggest that we write drunk and edit sober. But the crux of this method is that you just need to turn off those critical portions of your brain and let the words spill onto the page, even if they're the wrong ones, without getting hung up on fixing them right then and there. Free writing is a term popularized in 1973 by Peter Elbow. In his book, Writing Without Teachers, he said, editing in itself is not the problem. Editing is usually necessary if we want to end up with something satisfactory. The problem is that editing goes on at the same time as producing. And the main thing about free writing is that it's not editing. So practice regularly, free writing undoes the ingrained habit of editing at the same time you're trying to produce. It will make writing less blocked because words will come more easily. So how do you free write? Well, it's simple. You just let your mind wander and write down every word that comes into your head in the order it comes. It doesn't matter if it's connected or not. It doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. Do this for 10 minutes. Elbow suggests starting with 10 and moving up to 15 or 20 as you get into the rhythm. It's like priming the pump so that the water can flow. Of course, this concept didn't originate with Elbow in 73. It's existed in some form or another long before that. And you can start a writing session by free writing about your day, or jumping right into free writing about your novel, or another writing assignment, whatever topic you'd like. Free writing for fiction works the same way as free writing for your personal thoughts and feelings. Just let the thoughts flow. And this technique isn't just about already developed ideas. In that same article about writing, Mintz explains that writing is not just how we express our ideas, it's how we develop them. And it's true. If I'm exploring a thesis for an article or a column I'm writing, this is the same process I use to hone that idea and shape my thesis to better understand what I'm trying to say. When I'm sitting down with my students, this is usually the exercise we start with. Free writing will shake loose all of those ideas. It's also how I start every morning to get myself into the flow of writing and better shape the ideas I'm about to tackle in my writing that day. It's powerful and it helps me focus on the ideas swirling around in my head. And when I put it to my students, they all report that the practice helped them find their creativity faster and writer's block is kept at bay with greater ease. You just need to try it. You'll be amazed at how quickly this practice can improve your writing in any medium. All you have to do is think right onto the page, which is always a lot easier than the bleeding Hemingway advocated, although that time will come too if you're writing honestly enough. Thanks for joining us on this lesson and write on.